Hey, what's happening guys? I have heard your call for more Arduino content and I am answering it. Um, we're going to get into that today. First of all, you're noticing this lovely new mat here. Well, this mat, along with a couple of packs of LEDs, and uh, where's she at? Where's she at? Here she is. A Raspberry Pi uh, Zero W with official case was all sent in by a viewer, uh, Michael W. Michael W., thank you so much. Very cool of you to do that. I really appreciate it. Okay, so we're talking about Arduinos. Um, they are a great way to get your kids involved in electronics and programming. They're a great, great way for you to get started and get your feet wet in electronics and programming. You know, the most popular Arduino is probably the Uno. This is, you know, like the original. Now this one you see has an SMD chip. Here is another one that's got the through-hole chip. Well, they're all the same. And one of the things that you do with an Arduino, well, what you really do with an Arduino, what makes it great, is you get various sensors. And this one is a DHT11, which is a simple temperature and humidity sensor. And you can see it uses three pins for a connection. Easy enough to do, nothing to it. You know, you get yourself some DuPont wires, you wire it up, it's really easy. But what if, if you don't want to get into the wiring and stuff like that? Or like I said, great for kids. If you're getting your kids started and you don't want them cutting and messing with wires, well, there is a way to do that. And it's called the Grove System. I don't know why they called it the Grove System, but that's what they called it. And this is the Grove Starter Kit by Seed Studios. Seed with more ease than it really needs. And this is uh, put on here, uh, it's part number M0A1809070111. And it comes with the Seduino, Seedduino Lotus, which is um, an Arduino compatible board. A tilt switch, a buzzer, a temperature and humidity sensor, three axis digital accelerometer, a light sensor, a line finder, chainable RGB LED, and a 16 by 2 LCD. Now, what makes this great, and by the way, this was sent in to us by Seed Studios, so big thanks to them. What makes Grove great is if you look at a standard uh, DHT11 sensor here, let me zoom in on that. There's the standard DHT11 sensor with its naked pins. Here is a DHT11, DHT11 sensor mounted on a Grove board. And what the Grove is, is it's this um, four pin modular system. And it works really nice. So if we zoom out here a little bit, we can take a look at all the different sensors included in this kit. This is the chainable L, uh, RGB LED. Okay. This is the uh, accelerometer. This is a light sensor. There's our DHT11. We have the line follower, a buzzer, a tilt switch. And here is a um, 16 by 2 Hitachi style LCD. And if you've ever worked with an Arduino, you know these can be a real pain in the Matukas to hook up because they use 16 different pins. Well, this guy is fixed up real nice and ready to roll with I squared C. So that is super cool. Now, let's take a look at the board. This is the Seed Duino Lotus board. So let me put that down here. And we can take a closer look at it. We'll zoom in real good here. So here we go. We're going to take a look at this. It is, um, well, let me zoom out. It 
you can see it is the same size as an Uno. And it uses the same chip. This here is the um, Atmel 328 microcontroller. Now what's different is this chip over here and that is the CP2102N. It's just a serial uh, USB chip from Silicone Labs and it does require a driver. So, you know, don't cry about that. Other than that, you know, we've got a uh, LED here on uh, pin 13. And if you look here, you can see we've got our pins, SCL, SDA, AREF, ground, digital 13 through 2, TX, RX, and then over here we have ADC6, another IORF, reset, 3.3 volt, 5 volt, ground, ground, that one says non-connected, and then we have our analog pins. But what makes this really nice are these pins here. We have our analog grove sensors, our digital grove sensors, I squared C, a UART, and this makes hooking this stuff up super, super easy. I'm going to show you how easy it is to hook this up. So, we started out talking about uh, the DHT11 sensor. So let's get the, whoop, the Grove DHT11 sensor and then we need a couple of cables and it comes with them so there's no problem there these are real nice cables they are 21 millimeters long so they're keyed they'll only go one way doesn't matter which end you plug into what and we'll get those both connected here real simple just like that then uh, the DHT11 is a digital sensor so we'll put it into digital 2 and then our LCD display is hooked up through I squared C so that goes into our I squared C port and now other than writing some code this system's ready to rock and roll let's write some code and uh, we'll be back okay so we're looking at our code here and it's like I said it's pretty simple we need to include the library for the DHT sensor and we need to include the library for the RGB LCD and I will put uh, links to these libraries down below then we set up our DHT uh, 11 sensor just like we would for any other Arduino we define what pin it's on and we define what type it is and then we uh, create a call for it here DHT DHT with DHT pin and DHT type simple then we assign um, LCD here as the name of our RGB LCD screen we start up our DHT sensor we start up our LCD and we wait for two seconds so everything that you just saw me do right here this is all of the setup stuff um, how do I get out of this whoopsies there we go we have our library stuff right here where we set up our libraries and uh, get everything ready and then we have our program set up which is where we initialize our devices then we just come down here and we create an integer variable called H for humidity and we do DHT read humidity semicolon then we read the temperature it's in Celsius you can easily uh, do it in Fahrenheit as well there is a provision for that in the library but we're not going to get into that then we set our cursor we print our header set our cursor print our value set a cursor we make the little uh, uh, temperature character and we print our uh, value that we're writing it in and then we do the same thing for the humidity boom 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 
it's that easy to do with this. Well, it's that easy to do with any Arduino, really. Nothing to it but to do it. All right, let's go put it all together. So our code is written and our code is updated. And all we need to do now is power up. And there we go. I know that might be kind of hard for you to read. Let me uh, let me zoom down in here so you can see it better. There you go. Temperature 21 degrees Celsius. Humidity 26 percent. How simple is that? Now this comes with this little card, and it gives you a link where you can go. And I'll just read this to you. It's wiki.seedstudio.com slash grove underscore beginner underscore kit underscore four underscore arduino everything is capitalized but the letter f in four i mean all the all the first letters why don't i just show it to you yeah if you type it wrong it won't work how do i know that well experience that's how i know it but anyway there is the Grove starter kit for Arduino, again from Seed Studio. It is simply an alternative way to hook up these modules to Arduinos without having to do all the wiring yourself. Basically the wiring is done for you. If you can plug them in, you can use them. It's that easy. I put a link to this kit down below and it is also in my um, Amazon store. If you're unfamiliar with the Amazon store, uh, it's all items that I have used, items that I have, and items that I'm telling you are okay to use. So I guess you could say they have my recommendation. Yes, you can get them cheaper at other places. And go ahead, get them cheaper at other places. I'm not telling you to buy from my, Arduino, from my Amazon store. I'm simply telling you the products are there if you want them. And yes, I make a couple of cents off of every product I sell off there, but that helps keep the channel going. You know what else helps keep the channel going? Patrons like you guys out there who every month pledge just a buck that allows us to make videos, buy stuff, and keep things going. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. It means the world to me. And even you guys that don't donate but are watching the videos and commenting all the time, that's how we grow our community, helping each other out. And I appreciate each and every one of you. If you appreciate me and appreciate this video, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to Seed Studio for sending this out. That's it. I'm out. Peace.